Senator from Montana. I appreciate the recognition, Mr. President. Mr. President, I, I rise today for, uh, to talk about an issue that is uh, a disaster. Earlier this week, uh, we saw a water diversion project uh, that takes water from the St. Mary's drainage and puts it in the Milk River uh, literally uh, blow up. And that siphon that blew up had been around for over 100 years and is critical. It is critical for northern Montana. Uh, the project is near uh, a town called Bab, Montana. The siphon failure caused thousands of gallons of water to flood the surrounding area, leading to extensive damage to local businesses in that area, and will damage irrigation uh, opportunities for 120,000 acres. Now, what do I mean when I say damage irrigation? They won't have any water to irrigate. Uh, and it also provides uh, water to four municipalities, two rural water systems, and two tribes. It is a vital source of water for North Central Montana's water users and to so many farmers that feed the world. Now, the timing of this cannot be worse because there are literally hundreds of farmers and ranchers who are currently depending on that Mill River project to irrigate their crops. So because of the severity of this situation, I immediately called on the Biden administration to work to ensure that the local communities, irrigators, have the resources they need to fix this problem, including the Milk River project in the administration's domestic supplemental package. That's what the administration can do. But Congress also has an opportunity and actually an obligation to do our job. Congress can unlock critical funding for the Milk River Project once again by passing the Fort Belknap Indian Community Water Settlements, Water Rights Settlement. The Fort Belknap Indian Community Water Rights Settlement Act is a critically important piece of legislation that addresses a wide range of issues. And I'm not going to get into all the details, but I will say this. When finalizing this settlement, the Fort Belknap Indian Community recognized how important the St. Mary's Canal is to all the water users in North Central Montana. And because of the leadership and the vision from tribal leaders like President Stiffarm, the Fort Belknap Indian Community's water rights settlement was included, and now the St. Mary's Canal project was included, and now if this um, Fort Belknap Indian water settlement passes, we can rehabilitate the St. Mary's Canal, what exploded earlier this week. The bipartisan bill passed the Senate earlier this Congress, this Fort Belknap Indians Community Water Settlement, as an, amendment, as an amendment to the NDAA, but Speaker Johnson, House Republicans, stripped it from the final version. For nearly a year, the House has failed to act to provide the North Central Montana water users the certainty they need. These folks are farmers that need to feed the country, the entire world, but they're also businesses that will go broke without water. Now is the time to move forward. The siphon failures that occurred earlier this week are a reminder that we must invest in infrastructure to protect water supply and food supply. So today, the Senate hopefully will once again pass this critical water rights compact. This time is a standalone bill, not part of the NDAA. And I want to be clear, the House needs to pass this bill. The House needs to put aside the politics and pass this bill. Farmers' operations that have been generational in this region's livelihoods are on the line. Water for municipalities are on the line. This is no time, no time to play politics. The siphon bursts that we saw earlier this week have left Montana families reeling. Congress can do its job. The Senate will do its job. It's time for the House to act responsibly, too. So let's get this done so we can repair the Milk River Project and give the water users in North Central Montana the certainty and predictability that they need to survive. 
so as if in legislative session i would ask unanimous consent that the committee on indian affairs be discharged from further consideration that s nine hundred eighty seven the senate proceed to its immediate consideration the clerk will report s nineteen eighty seven a bill to provide for the settlement of the water rights claims of the fort belknap indian community and for other purposes without objection the committee is discharged the senate will proceed to the measure uh... mr chairman i'd ask you now consent that the tester dane substitute amendment at the desk be agreed to the bill be amended as considered read a third time without objection i know of no further debate on the bill as amended if there's no further debate questions on passage of the bill as amended all in favor will say aye aye all opposed no the ayes appear to have it the ayes do have it the bill as amended has passed i'd ask that the motion to reconsider be considered made and laid upon the table without objection thank you mr president